A landslide undermines a mountain highway, forcing crews to block the road for repairs. It happened Friday north of Bakersville on Highway 226. News 13's Cheryl Barber joins us live at the roadblock. And Cheryl, that road sees a lot of traffic. It does, and it's the easy way to get to the Beulah Dean community and to drive into Tennessee. But workers blocked the road while they worked on the roadbed that had washed away. I was going to be able to see my sister there. Drivers spent most of the morning turning around after running into a wall of yellow DOT trucks and excavators. Some have to go all the way around now. All the way around is never easy in the mountains. Oh, wow, it's going to take me at least 15, 20 more minutes longer to go all the way around. I was just thinking coming up the road, this is the first time that the road's been closed since I lived in here and I've lived here all my life. Highway engineers had a difficult chore to repair the problem. Rain swept the dirt away that supported the pavement's edge. Crews had to truck in boulders to rebuild the slope from the river's edge to the top. They worked five straight days and finished up by removing trees that had become weakened by the slope failure. It's like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> Christine Weiland was headed to a business meeting beyond the area blocked for repairs. She's nervous about taking detours. Being new to the area too and not sure of where I'm going, this is this is definitely a headache. And it's just like two miles up the road and I thought I could make it. And I was like, oh. Shortly after 2 p.m., workers started removing the road closed signs and reopened Highway 226. That ended days of detours and made a dangerous washout safe to drive over. Now the work is not done yet for the highway crews. They're going to take this big machine over to Highway 197, not too far away. They're going to fix a similar problem that could threaten that road in the future. Reporting live in Mitchell County, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.